guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, oh my god. Ah, I'm so excited to finally be back and recording properly again. Um, excuse the hair, I've been out all day. Well, I haven't been out all day, but I've been at work and I've just got back. And I was out when it was raining and yeah, this is, this is kind of the outcome of my curly hair, which was curly this morning, but it's not no more. Um, but yeah, anyway, forget about that. Um, finally, I'm going to be recording um, a leg routine. But basically, I wanted to put together a few of my favourite glute and leg exercises for you guys because I thought um, it's about time that I post on my YouTube a leg routine, seeing as I get asked so much all the time. You guys always ask me, like, what do I do in the gym to get, like, my legs, you know, the way they are, or what do I do to get my glutes and stuff, um, and you've always, always, and always asked me, so I finally plucked up the courage to finally record myself, um, yeah, and, like, we'll see how it goes, to be honest, I don't really know what to expect, but, um, yeah, so... I like to do um, a few of my favourite exercises to grow your glutes, I find. Because a lot of people, you know, you hear a lot of people say, like, squats are, like, the main the main focus of the glutes. I, like, I hear that so much. Like, people always say to me, oh, my God, you're, like, your bum's so nice. Like, what do you do? Do you squat? Like, is it just 100 squats? And I'm like, no. Like, like squatting is good, don't get me wrong. But, like, I find when I squat, it's more like if it targets my quads more than anything so I find like when I'm squatting I know there's loads of different ways you can squat and stuff and I'm not saying that all squats target just your quads but I find personally because everyone's different that my quads tend to grow more when I'm squatting so um yeah it's, it is good in that sense but um to be honest I don't do too much squatting I'm not like a heavy squatter but I do um say more like a pyramid sets and stuff like that where I work so basically a pyramid set is when you're adding on weight and you're going up into like a pyramid. So you're basically adding on weight each time, doing like eight to 10 reps, depending on how much you're doing and how heavy you're lifting. And then you get up to the certain weight and then obviously you drop it back down again. Um, so I usually do that, tend, I tend to do it anyway when I'm like training legs. And then um, I go on to like hip thrusts, right? And I can't even rave to you guys how much hip thrusts have saved my life. So. So one thing before we even get started about hip thrust is the fact that resistance bands, right? Now, I never used to even know about resistance bands. Obviously, when I started training, like, I heard of them and I've seen them, but I never really thought much of it. Um, it was only to when I saw someone on Instagram, I can't remember who it was now, but I saw someone using the resistance bands. And I was like, oh my god, like, these resistance bands are cool. Like, what is that all about? And then, um, anyway, so I decided to buy some. I bought some off eBay originally. Um... They were pretty awful, not gonna lie. Then I bought some of Amazon, um, a different brand, which were a bit, a bit better, but not like 100% better either. Um, but still, they were doable. You know, they worked. They worked in a way that they, they didn't roll up as much. They were tight on my legs, and I preferred them. So anyway, I'm still sticking with those at the moment. Although I am getting sent out some slingshot ones um, soon from America, which I'm so excited to try because I've seen so many good things about them. And they're like a, not the rubber bands, not the rubber ones. They're like the material ones. So they're a lot tighter on your legs, and obviously, you know, a lot less likely to roll up, which is the main thing annoying isn't it it's when you're training and they roll out and it's like uh, uh. <laughs> but yeah so um anyway hip thrusts um hip thrusts are like my favorite glute, glute exercise i can't even speak my favorite glute exercise ever like honestly like i do hip thrusts so much and with hip thrusts is why i tend to i'll do well, I aim for like a heavier, heavier weight each time. Obviously, I'm training, but I'm usually training in um, like a pyramid set as well with hip thrust where I'm starting off uh, a low weight and then I'm like doing more reps. Then as I get up and up and up and heavier, then I lower the reps. So I do, I think my heaviest on hip thrust at the moment is maybe 110, but I'm not too sure. It might be 100, I can't remember. Oh no, I think it's 110, but I'm not too sure. Goodness. To be honest, I don't work with how heavy I lift, I work with how I lift things. But so for me, I usually do like I stay on 100 k and I do like a certain amount of sets. So and then I do about five reps each set, depending on obviously how I'm feeling that day. Because sometimes I have like strength sessions and sometimes I have sessions where I feel like you know what it's like when you like you go to train and you feel like shit and then like you train other sessions and then you feel amazing. So it's just like it's I don't know. 
we've all been there but um yeah so anyway um hip thrusts absolutely amazing i can't even like rave about them much and wearing resistance bands whilst doing hip thrusts is is where it's at it's it's literally key like for me anyway to get that um tension in your glutes and you just got to squeeze and when you're squeezing your glutes you've got to really think about activating your glutes so squeezing your glutes in and making sure that you're working your glutes and honestly it's a game changer so <laughs> i'll catch up with you in a bit when i'm in the gym so before i train um i always take the jay cutler pre-workout which is this one i'll just show you now not that one that's empty this one so this jay cutler pre-workout this is a fruit punch flavor which i love because it tastes so good um i have one scoop of that because it hits me like a ton of bricks and then um yeah and then i go train so i take that before i train and because i'm i've got like an hour and a half two hours now before i train um i'm going to go and make some oats so i'm going to eat some oats before i go um i'm probably going to have about 40 50 gram um of oats and with some blueberries i usually have with them as well and then um i'll make my drink so i take the bcas with me um which is actually let me see if i've got one here so i can show you no i haven't got one here but i take bcas with me in because they're all downstairs in my cupboard that's actually the giveaway um which will be posted soon um yeah so the bbi i usually take the um bcas and i'll put that in my drink when i drink that from a workout and stuff to give me energy and um help promote any sort of muscle repair and growth and really um that's pretty much it to be honest because um i drink that so i drink actually a litre a litre during my workout to make sure i get the liters in and then um after that i will finish and have a protein shake so i usually have whey hd protein which is downstairs as well i'll show you in a minute um and i usually have that as soon as i finish a workout so yeah that's pretty much it really and um i shall take you through with me <laughs> so I've just literally covered myself in this sweet sweat. You've probably seen it on my um, Instagram. It's basically I had to put in the pictures so I'm talking to you guys. But it's basically like a um, it, it's like it's almost like a Vaseline. Like it looks like a Vaseline, and like you like wipe it on your stuff. So I put it all over my body basically, but obviously not on the pits that are covered. So I'm putting it all over my um, my arms and stuff, and then I put it on my my stomach and yeah basically gives off that wet look but what it does it helps um with your muscles as well so whilst training it helps prevent injury and um it smells lush so when you're sweating it's smelling good not that it's not bad anyway but still you know what i mean so <laughs> if girls gotta do what girls gotta do so i am just about to take my makeup off um I always take makeup before I train anyway, just because I people are different, but like me personally, like I just don't like training with makeup on, so I always tend to take it off. Um, that's just me. Some people can train with it on, and some people can't, so yeah. Uh.
guys, so excuse the face right now. Had a bit of a dilemma because I was recording and I didn't realise that my um, camera basically ran out of memory, which is great. I mean, knew something bad was going to happen, but basically, yeah, it ran out of memory and I didn't get all my workouts on this video, but I got as much as I could. But yeah, I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe if you liked it and please give it a thumbs up 